What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and as you can tell by the title of this video, I have an awesome video today. All those packages, I've been gone in Ohio for the past five days. I went home to see Jared. I've actually been playing a ton of disc golf. I played with Grant and my friend Josh. We've been spending, literally I think we played like every day for the past week. Uh, but it was good to go home and see my family and so this video might be a little bit later than seven. So if it is, sorry, I drove three and a half hours today to come back to my spot in Indiana. So we hear a uh, collection video will be next week. Some of those things I'm doing this rifle, as you can tell by the title today. And also I got round two of patches. So you guys have been super supportive. I sold like 200 patches at the beginning. So I do have these ones. This is the second generation of them. They look really good. They're like PVC patches. So they're not the cheap ones. They're actually really high quality. The colors are awesome on them. I'm selling them for $11 ship a piece individually. Or if you buy anything from me, you can add one for $5 for any order that you get from me. Me, so to say it or I'll ask you sometimes but I love the patches so that was 200 I think I've got 200 250 in this one I can't remember I think I got 200 more so we'll be at 400 now if you guys buy all these which is awesome to see that there are 200 patches already out there and I'm excited for more so you have a chance to win these in next week's collection of video alrighty as you can tell by the title of this video this is the rarest airsoft sniper rifle gun that I have ever owned. This I think actually might be considered rarer than the Tokyo Marie Desert Eagle that I had. I think it's definitely rarer than the Inokatsu 1911. And this is actually, if you guys are familiar with the channel, this is actually not the first one of these that I have ever owned before. I have owned two of these actually in the past in the gas version and one in the spring. This is my favorite airsoft gun that I've ever owned out of anything. And so as you can tell by this box, it's super old. For those of you that don't know or have never heard of them, Tanaka Works is an incredibly rare, incredibly old company in Japan that makes super, super nice airsoft guns. I spent $600 on this gun and when they retailed, when they came out, I believe they were like $800 to $1,000. I know it may seem like a lot to you guys, but this is my favorite gun. And so I have had two of these in the past. And like I said, I want a new one. And so I saw this pop up on eBay and this one is brand new. I have never had one of the new ones. I didn't even know they were somebody. I'm, I guess I assumed that somebody could still have a new one, but this thing is brand spanking new, man. And so, oh, you guys, I literally, this is funny. This was one of the first, man, you gotta kill my moment like that. It's fine. I'm not, I'm not bitter. Um, still having a good moment. Thank you, Mr. Loud Person. Anyway, so when I started watching Airsoft, I actually grew up watching Scout the Doggies videos. He's a dude, one of the biggest beginner airsofters before like Novrich and Jet the Desert Fox and all those guys came out. Scout the Doggy had all these videos he's playing out in Scotland. And so I saw a dude use one of these sniper rifles as like an 11, 12 year old. And I was always like, man, if I could ever own one of those, I would love that so much. And I think like five years into playing Airsoft, I think I was like 17, 18, something like that. I ended up being able to purchase my first one. So the first one I got was actually an okay shape. The hop up was old, so it didn't work super well. And the wood was a lighter version. This is the kind of in between. They make a darker, a blued one, a lighter one. And then this is the really nice in between one. I actually really like this. I did like the lighter wood. I don't know what what kind of wood it is, but this is all 100% wood, 100% steel. This thing will shoot insanely far, insanely accurate because Tanaka does not mess around. So we're gonna start out with the front. Um, this one's actually a little bit different for the front sight. Um, it has an orange tip here. Usually it has like a whole thing that kind of sticks on it on the other ones that I've had, which is kind of interesting that it does not have. This is full steel, everything here. Barrel goes from about here till there. So that is a super long barrel. Um, obviously with a rifle like this, you would kind of expect that. Up here you have a scope mount as well. So if you want to mount a scope there, you can kind of have a side rail. I think I, I don't know if I've actually ever had one of those. I think I've seen the pictures of it. I owned the official sling one time, but I don't really use slings a ton anyway, so it doesn't matter that much for me. You got that sight and you got your back rear iron sights right here. Uh, they're pretty cool. They're actually pretty accurate for the one that I had before. Um, you can mess with your hop up on the dial down here. Um, and then it's got the super, literally the coolest trades out of air, any airsoft gun ever. It has like the real Germans, it's got 1942 stamp there. You have ASGK, uh, Tanaka works right there, the G33 slash 40. Um, so this is apparently, uh, t this is a Mauser Car 98, but I think this is like the carabiner model. And so it's the mountain trooper version. I don't know a ton about uh, World War II, just watching a lot of the history channel. And I know it's pretty chill. Um, watching the World War II and the History Channel. Um, I've seen a lot of these guns and I played a lot of the Call of Duties, literally every single one of them. And so I remember using these, even in Call of Duties as a kid, I was like, man, if I could ever own one. So eventually I would love to own a real one, which is funny because they're probably about the same price as one of the Airsoft the Tanaka ones. I would, I'm not hundred percent sure. I would assume these are fairly affordable in real life. So eventually I would be able to get one, hopefully. 
Um, but this thing, man, is so cool. I'm sorry if I'm a little bit at loss for words. I love this thing. It is a gas rifle. So you go like this. You actually don't have to rack the bolt all the way back. You can kind of keep it here and then rack it, which I was always confused as a young airsofter. I was like, don't you have to lock the bolt all the way back for the bullets to go in it? Silly airsofters. Um, but I did not know. And so it's just something like this. Really nice trigger pull on it as well. It feels so good. And then you've got your safe up here. So if you want to put it in back, you put your, that's in safe. So I can't pull the trigger. And the other side also in safe. And then if you go, whoop, if you go all the way back, then you can fire it as well. And this is a gas one. I've actually, they don't make a spring one as well. I own two of the gas ones, one of the spring ones, and this one is by far the nicest condition. Most of the ones, the second one I owned was actually pretty trash. The hop-up did not work at all. And it was really old and parts were breaking in here in the, in the frame itself. So it looked like it had been abused. But this thing, oh man, it's just so pretty. Back sling would go in here, and then it's got the metal stamp right there as well. And I've actually not had one with this version on here before. I think that's just to protect it from cheek wear a little bit. So if you're kind of rubbing up against your gear or whatever for all their old Alice clip stuff systems, I don't know if that's the reason for I guess I don't know what really what the Germans use. I don't know if everybody kind of used Alice clips or that was a U.S. thing. Um, but this is an awesome, awesome gun. I appreciate you guys being able to come and watch this. This one actually does have the manual. It's all in Japanese. I've never actually seen the manual for these before. And so you can just tell based on the stuff, it's really cool. It did came, come with the speed loader as well. And then some BBs. I wonder what grand BBs these are, to be honest. Not sure, but this thing is awesome. I appreciate you guys staying and watching this video. Collection will be next week. And then I have some other really cool things in the pipeline as well. I would love to field this gun. I did it once and I sh remember running up to the beginning of the game and I was probably about like 200 feet from this kid. We lock eye contact and I just shoot this round that goes straight from my bullet, from my eyes, from my barrel and goes straight into his soul, hits him like right there. And I remember him being like, oh, hit. And it was through a plate carrier and stuff, but it was just like, he was so disappointed that I was like, man, I just got killed the first time. And I was, I mean, I was just running through. I was like, I'm going to get my first kill. I may not get anybody else the rest of this game. <gasps> and just shot it felt so good and it was so 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 cool so this has been alec mac 101 enough with alec mac story time uh, i appreciate you guys for watching this video now it's time to go throw james a birthday party